Well, I'm Chris and this is my Traxxas Nitro Fortec. Today we're going to put a one-way bearing in there and see if we can get this thing started. I made a video of unboxing it. And I actually put a $200 offer in another one almost like this and they accepted. So I got another one coming and we'll do a video on it. But for right now, let's try to get this one-way bearing off without taking it all apart. We got the engine to bump yesterday, so let's get it ready. Hopefully, all right, let's try to take as little off as possible. All right. Man, this Fortec might be a lot easier to work on than I thought. So there's a one video on YouTube where this guy, he put a big block on one of these and that thing is screaming. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I think that video, he put a .21, like a Nova Rossi or something like that. That's actually the coolest Traxxas video I've ever seen in my life. That dude is just hauling butt with that thing down the road. Stuck in there, man. Oh. All right, well look, we found a problem already. See how that one-way bearing, it looks like they stuck it in there, but they didn't realize it had a place for it. So it's kind of wedged up in there. So we might have a good one-way bearing if I can get it out. It's definitely stuck in there. All right, yeah, I forgot I have a whole bunch of these. So we'll take this apart, inspect that, and see what's going on here in a second. This one should be good. Let's see if it goes on easier than it comes off. Okay, way easier. Always look at the length of the screws, make sure they're the right ones. That way you can kind of get an idea if somebody's been in here screwing around. Man, this might be the quickest fix so far. Hopefully it'll turn over. Let's hear it. Okay, there you go. That's a very, very good sign. Finally prime it. Glow plug was good yesterday. Right, let's make sure this is open. Okay, it primed instantly. Oh my goodness. All right, so this one, something happened. This must have fell out and pulled the switch wires out or something because the batteries didn't work. So we're bypassing it just to see if we can get some throttle moving. So the freaking transmitter works. That's always a huge bonus. Let's see if we can get this thing started. All right, it might not be having enough power for the glow plug. So still learning this stuff, still learning this stuff. I have a feeling that's what it is. Man, I don't feel like going inside and getting more batteries. So on the tracks, let's just go back to the factory specs on the carburetor and start over. They had it exactly four turns out. That's all I need to hear them run. Now we go through it and we start looking for broke stuff and cleaning it up a little bit better. I am gonna take this one completely apart. Seems like they had everything adjusted right, but I'll still take the engine apart. We'll do a video on it, just checking it out, but super, super happy. Now, if you're gonna buy one of these, try to get your set of wheels, try to get a body on it. I would much rather have to hunt down a 2.5 or a 3.3 than to try to hunt down a body you can find the newer style wheels, but I didn't see any of these wheels on eBay at all. And it's a little bit. We tried to straighten it earlier. All right. Just keep doing that. You'll eventually straighten them. And obviously the bottom is going to tell you how they ran it. As long as it doesn't have any cracks in aluminum, it's fine. So if you buy a used one, you really want to take it all the way down, wash all the parts and clean it because when you're going through it, you're going to find things that you can never ever will see like with the naked eye. You're going to find pins bent, screws bent. I think I've only had one that had no damage on it whatsoever. These are on the eBay, you know, for under $200, but not with the body and not with the matching wheels. I don't think it gets much better than this in 2024. I'm just documenting my experiences to show new people what to expect. I'm doing these videos for the next generation. I'm not trying to compete with some dude that works in an RC store. And there are some RC channels that I like, but if a guy's been doing this forever, they're not going to take the time to speak to somebody new. You know, I'm not trying to compete with somebody that's been doing this for 20 years. I talk the way that I talk. I'm sorry. That's just my tone. It weeds out idiots and bullshitters. I'm a real car guy. Sorry. So the easy start, I guess this person didn't know that. Maybe 
forced it in there, but I think this should be good. The one-way bearing works fine. So if this would not have worked, we would have knocked that bearing out. I call it pressing. I do have a press, but it's huge. And we'll just knock that out on a table and you're good to go. These are about $4 each. I got them on eBay. Future video, tearing this one apart. And then I bought another one and we'll go through it in a complete video. So if you enjoy, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.